Hi guys and welcome to this week's video from Bite Size Excel. Today we're going to take a look at what you can do when you get lots of error messages popping up when you open a workbook. This can be quite annoying and is typically to do with links to other workbooks that Excel can no longer find. So in this example, I have a workbook that I've copied from elsewhere on my network. And when I open this workbook up, I get lots of error messages popping up saying that it can't connect to certain file paths. And you'll see it's still finding more that it can't connect to. And eventually my workbook opens, but not only did all those error messages pop up, but I've also got lots of ref errors throughout. Now this is typically because you've got file paths in your workbook. So I happen to know in this cell here, I've got reference to a file path that no longer exists. Now, if I want to get rid of the error because it's looking for this XLSX file, I can either link this to the correct place in this current document, delete it completely, or change it so that it's just a static bit of text or a number. Now, if you're not too sure where in your workbook these are, you can find them by hitting Control F and then searching for XLS. That's what I usually do. You can also do dot .xls. And if you've got more than one sheet in your workbook, you would change this to workbook. And if you hit find next, you'll see it's found that one there. And that is the only one in my workbook. A way to find out what references you might have is to come to your data tab and hit on, on edit links. And you'll see that it's looking for these two XLS books. You can break those links so it's no longer looking for them. However, you'll still have that reference within your workbook and you should really search through to remove it. A way to avoid getting these errors in the first place is to make sure that when you're copying cells or tables from other workbooks that you copy as a paste special. Now, I'm just going to delete this reference for now. However, there is something else in this workbook that means it will still be searching. And I'll show you what that is. So if I were to close this down and then open it back up again. So I've taken out that cell reference. However, when I open it back up, I'm still getting error messages. Now this can be really frustrating because you've searched, you're looking for any XLS files, you can't find any. So where are they? Now when you get this, what you might find is that they're actually within named ranges. So the worksheet that I copied these tables from had them set up with named ranges in them. So if I were to come over to my formulas tab and come to my name manager, we'll see I've got lots of named ranges here. This one's referring to sheet one, sheet one, they're fine. However, you'll see there's a couple of them here that are referring to this other pathway. And what you need to do is either need to delete these named ranges or point them to the correct place in your workbook. So for now, I'm just going to delete these out. And you can see I've only got reference to sheet one. Now, if I save it, close it down and then reopen it, this time when I open it, I shouldn't have any error references anymore. I do have these name errors because these cells are pointing to named ranges, but I could fix that and tidy it up. But as you can see, I no longer have my error messages popping up. And this is because throughout this worksheet, I removed all references to those other Excel files that my current workbook was for searching for. So this is just a relatively quick tip. It's something that I find quite frequently at work where people have used other workbooks as a basis for a new worksheet and they've never gone through and broken all these links or tidied it up so that it's only referring to things that are relevant to the workbook itself. Pet peeve of mine, I do like it to be tidy and it really winds me up when I'm opening up worksheets and getting all these error pop-ups when I open them up. I'd love to know if you find this tip useful and also what you'd like to see in future videos. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I do look forward to seeing you in future videos.